Hi, I'm Aaron Crawford with Brower Mechanical, your energy solutions experts. And today I want to talk to you about insulation and some of the awesome benefits that are out there for you and your family. One of the main benefits that you're going to have is improved efficiency. You know, a tighter home. Tighter home is a more efficient home. In fact, in just a second I'll share with you how you can really maximize the efficiency of your insulation and really cut down on your air conditioning runtime, which is really important because that saves us all money and makes us more comfortable. And that's another benefit of insulation is just added comfort. We want to be comfortable in our home. So understanding how do we really uh, put insulation in our home that's going to really enhance the comfort in our home. One of the biggest bangs for your dollar is the fact that there's tax credits. There's rebates out there to really offset that cost. So President Obama back in 2009 passed this awesome stimulus package that can really offset the cost of upgrading your insulation. And in fact, there's actually some rebates out there from the utility companies as well to really, really drive that price down. The type of insulation we use is called green fiber cocoon insulation. It's actually made from 85% recycled fiber. It's three times more dense than regular fiberglass or that batted type insulation. And the reason why we want dense insulation, it's going to give us a really nice coverage in the attic. It's very heavy, very dense. It's not going to allow for any of those air leaks or gaps or anything like that that you typically see with batted or fiberglass insulation. And it also increases the fire resistance in your home, which is very important when we're talking about the safety of you and your family. So how do we maximize your insulation, the efficiency of that? Well, let me show you. Come on over here. We've got a couple different examples here of kind of two typical attics. So this might look like your attic space right here. So we have the old batted insulation, kind of that yellow looking stuff. Our ductwork for our heating and air conditioning is ran really, really high. I want you to picture just how hot and feel how hot that attic is in the summertime. So it's 100 degrees outside, but the attic temperature, it can be 140 degrees. So what most people do when they're adding insulation in their home is they just kind of put it up in the attic and they're just trying to receive some type of benefit. When you think about it, it's really not doing much as far as a return on investment. As far as efficiency savings, it's really only increasing the efficiency of your home, your heating and air conditioning, all that stuff by about 8%. And the reason why is because think of all that cool air that we got running through our ductwork. Most ductwork only has about three quarters of an inch of insulation. And that cool air, which could be 55, 60 degrees, is running in that 140 degree space. So by the time you actually feel it, it's a lot warmer than that. I get that question all the time of, hey Aaron, how come when I turn my air conditioner on when it's over 95 degrees, my air conditioner just runs and runs and runs and runs and never shuts off? It's because of that temperature coming out of the ductwork isn't cool enough to satisfy your thermostat. So one of the ways to really maximize the efficiency of your insulation is instead of just blowing insulation in your attic, lower your ductwork first, get it all the way down on that attic floor. Heck, we can just put it right on top of your old batted insulation. And then when we add our new insulation, we just cover it. So instead of having what they call R4 insulation wrapped around your ductwork, only about that much, we're actually going to have R19 insulation covering that ductwork. So it really, really keeps the integrity of the temperature from your air conditioning system and it doesn't compromise it. That heat in the attic isn't going to affect that temperature. So when you feel it on the hot day, it's going to be cool. And what that's going to do, it's going to satisfy your thermostat. It's going to increase the efficiency, the comfort of your home. And this is what it looks like here. This is that cellulose insulation, that cocoon green fiber insulation that I was talking about. See how dense it is? See the coverage that you actually get? There's no air gaps, no leaks or anything like that. We got our ductwork, it's buried in there really increases the efficiency. So if you have those problems with efficiency in your home, if you're trying to create a tighter environment in your home, if you're trying to be more comfortable in your home, lowering your ductwork, adding insulation, take advantage of tax credits, rebates, this is really kind of a no-brainer thing to do if you're looking to improve the efficiency of your home. We're talking about 40% savings on your air conditioning cost. Look at your utility bills. Maybe in the summertime, that's when they spike up to that three or $400. Maybe because it's because you're introducing air conditioning costs now. So if we want to lower those utility bills, increase the comfort, this is a great way to do it. Again, this is Aaron Crawford over at Brower Mechanical, your energy solutions uh, experts. And thank you for the time to talk to you about insulation and the benefits of adding that into your home. We'll see you later.